In this video, I'm going to show you how to draw buildings in your city and add details like doors and windows. The first thing you need to do when creating a city, or creating a building, I'm sorry, is to create a new folder. I'm calling this folder building one because it is my first building. In the first layer inside that folder, I'm going to call it front. I'm drawing the front of a building. I will need to use my paintbrush tool with the size set to five pixels. Then in my color picker, I'm going to select a color for my building. My building is, or my city is going to be usually loosely based, wow, I can't talk today, loosely based on Boston. So I want some kind of old brick looking buildings. So I'm going to find a nice brick color that I like. Yeah, something like that's good. And I'm going to start by drawing the front of my building, which is just a rectangle. I like to put my buildings right along my sidewalk course, it's your city, so you can put your buildings wherever you want. So I'm drawing a uh, rectangle by holding down my mouse, holding shift and dragging. And then I'm going to fill that rectangle with my paint bucket tool. And I can use my eraser to get rid of my extra lines. If you need, you can zoom in on your building if that makes it easier for you to see. Be careful not to erase your corners like I keep doing. Next, I'm going to need a new layer and I'm going to call it side to draw the side of my building. I need to change my color and I'm going to make the sides of my buildings all lighter than the fronts. So in my color picker, I move up and to the left. I'm going to start with a vertical line along the edge of the front rectangle of my building. And then I will connect both corners of the building to the vanishing point by holding shift and clicking. And that will draw a straight line that connects those two points. So now you can see I have a triangle. Next, I need to draw a second vertical line. And I'm going to draw my vertical line right along the edge of the sidewalk, like this. So when I use my paint bucket tool and fill that area, we can see that I have a side of my building. Again, I will use my eraser to get rid of my extra lines. Remember that the eraser works just like the paintbrush tool. So I can hold shift and click to erase whole lines quickly. So now I have a building. However, this isn't a very interesting building without any details. So now I'm going to add some doors and windows. Again, I like to zoom in. And in a new layer, I'm going to create a layer called door. 
I need to select a color for my door. I think I just want to go with a dark gray for now. And my door is going to go on the side of my building. And I'm going to start by drawing two vertical lines. Like that. I'm going to use the vertical line that is furthest away from the vanishing point. And I'm going to connect the top and bottom of that line to the vanishing point by holding shift and clicking. Then when I fill my door, I will have this what's called a parallelogram as a shape. I can erase my extra lines and that door is going to point towards my vanishing point. As remember, everything connects to your vanishing point. So now I have a door for my building. Next, I'm going to make a new layer to add some windows. I'm going to keep my color the same for now. And I'm going to start with windows on the front of my building. And I like to draw windows by creating a grid. So that first space represents the height between or the height of the windows. And the next line represents the distance between each window. Remember to let go of shift before you click and drag for a vertical or horizontal line. So now I have horizontal lines and then I'll need vertical lines to represent the, um, the sides of each window. So again, the first two lines represent the width of the window. And the next line will represent the distance between each window. For even spacing, sometimes I will work from the outside and then go in. Then 
I can change up my color in my color picker and I want to use a similar light blue to what's in the sky. And with my paint bucket, I'm going to fill the rectangles that represent each window. And then my last step for these windows is to use my eraser to get rid of my extra lines. So I'm holding shift and dragging to erase things more quickly. And when I need to, I can make my eraser smaller. So now I have windows on the sides of my building. I could even go back and add some more details to those windows. Like this. And then I'll need to erase those lines again. I'll go ahead and do that now. And then I'll need to do the same thing on the sides. I need new windows. So I'm making another layer. I'll call it windows side. So I know exactly where those windows are on the building. I'm going to start with some horizontal lines, or I'm sorry, vertical lines along the building to represent where those windows exist. Zoom in a smidge more. And then I'm going to use these windows here as a guide to about how tall each window should be. And I'm using this outer line that is furthest away from the vanishing point 
and I'm connecting it to the vanishing point just by click holding shift and clicking where I want it to go. All right, I've got that grid, and then I'm just going to take my paint bucket and fill in my windows with a light blue color. And one last time I can add a little bit of detail with my paintbrush. I'm just going to add those lines that are going across each window. And my last step is to grab my eraser and get rid of all of those extra lines. Be careful if your eraser is too big, then it will erase too much.
and there we go. I have windows on both sides of my building.